Malacanang insists that there's nothing wrong with President Duterte's shoot-to-kill order against rebels. This despite the death of nine legal activists on Sunday at the hands of police officers who were only supposed to serve them with search warrants. Patricia Mangune with the report. Military police. Pag ikwentro ganin mo, magunay ka ng aras, patya. Patya yun. Tiwase. Ano ang human rights? Ako ng sugo. Ako yung mapriso. Ako yung... Why, why, why problema na? A firm support for police and military actions against communist rebel groups. This was part of President Duterte's message on Friday. For the palace, this is the right order to make. Under IHL po, Tama yung order ng presidente. Kill, kill, kill. Kasi nga po, kapag mayroong labanan, kapag ang kalaban mo may baril na pwede kang patayin, alam nga namang ikaw ang magantay na ikaw ang mabaril at mapatay. Two days after the president's pronouncements, Calabarzon police implemented simultaneous search warrants against activists in Cavite, Laguna, Batangas, and Rizal. They reportedly possessed illegal firearms. Nine were killed while 15 were arrested. Four of those arrested and seven of those killed have been identified to be leaders of various progressive groups. The PNP insists the operations were legitimate. It's legitimate operations because they are covered with search warrant. The group Bayan condemns the killings. They described it as a Tokhang-style execution of red-tagged activists. They say this was the same tactic used by police to arrest activists in Bacolod City back in 2019. There's already a pattern of abuse too glaring to ignore. The pattern of abuse, they, they apply for a search warrant, the judge issues a search warrant anywhere in the Philippines, gagamitin yung search warrant para pasukin ang tahanan, para arestuhin ang tao, tangiman ang ebidensya, o kaya sa kaso na niyari kahapon, patayin. Sobra na po. No? Hindi na po yan enforcement ng batas, hindi na po yan rule of law. No, wild, wild west na yan. Wala na pong rule of law na umiiral. Justice Secretary Menardo Guevara also isn't happy with the incident. Guevara recently admitted lapses in anti-drug operations on the part of the police. He says a sit-down with security personnel is needed. The incident is again filed under the ongoing task force probe into political killings or AO35 task force. The Commission on Human Rights says killings of red-tagged activists are escalating. The regional office in Calabarzon has now started an independent probe over the incident. For News 5, Patricia Mangune, We Are One News.